Hey everyone, Joel Answer. Today we're in Las Vegas, Nevada. Yes, Viva Las Vegas. Outside, Lloyd B's drive through barbecue. So, now you're probably wondering what the heck is this, because I was as well. So this is actually a barbecue joint that specializes in being a drive through So, you generally go through the drive through and get your barbecue to go. So, that being said, we have a giant challenge today, a barbecue platter challenge. This is called the What Happens in Vegas Challenge. Although, I think it's gonna be more staying around my waist, but nonetheless. So, for today's challenge, we're gonna have a full rack of ribs. I know there's at least one or two different kinds of sausage. We got pulled pork, we got brisket. Um, we got, I think it's rib tips. Uh, I think then I have to choose three sides. I know they have like mac and cheese, coleslaw, beans. I'll get some more details. Uh, I know we're gonna have 25 minutes to complete the challenge or to get it for free. Um, it is definitely a big, like it's a pretty dang big challenge. Um, it's essentially one of their large family platters, uh, just like modified ever so slightly. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of the details. Um, I think we got a free meal, of course, if we complete it. Um, I don't know if there's any other like t-shirts or anything, but we'll find that out. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So like I said, really cool southern style barbecue dressed up in a drive through fashion. So, hey, I've never had drive through barbecue. Let's go see what this is all about. And do that, let's head in and let's eat some food. We have the full rack of ribs, which look absolutely delicious. I love me some good barbecue ribs, everybody. I got some brisket, which is, looks and smells delicious. This is my favorite. We had some nice fatty, fatty brisket. Um, we then have the pulled pork. We have the hot link, which again, they kind of do actually in a like pepper um, kind of mix. It's really interesting. It reminds me kind of like a, almost like a gumbo Louisiana kind of style. We have a lovely, lovely looking beef rib with some kind of Asian inspired flavors up in that biz nizzle. I have the cornbread, which is just yes, called the cornbread. This is a piece of their famous cornbread. We have a smoked Texas style sausage. We have the rib tips. We have their signature coleslaw, their uh, brisket chili, and their sassy beans. So all looks delicious. I then have their sauces here. I got their mustard sauce. I got their sookie sauce, which is their traditional. I have their vinegar sauce. I have the spicy sauce. So like I said, we got all kinds of delicious looking flavors. I'm super excited. I love barbecue. And uh, hey, when in Vegas, right? So how about we get started here just momentarily. So 25 minutes uh, to complete the challenge. Um, and again, I did find out not only are we getting the meal for free if we're able to complete it, but we're actually getting a sweet hat. I love hats. It's a good collectible. You know, I get a lot of t-shirts with hats. Gotta get a hat. And they got some good looking ones. So where am I gonna get started? I don't know. You know what I'm just gonna start? I'm gonna start with the coleslaw. I'm a big coleslaw fan. This looks good to me. We got, what do we got in here, right? Cranberries? Cranberries, pickled watermelon rinds. Wow. Sugar snap beans. Okay. Coarse cut green beans. I've never had a coleslaw like that before, so. Red wine vinegar, rice wine vinegar. Well, let's give this a bite. So, I believe we can start with five, four, three, two, one. Let us eat. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> I've never had a coleslaw like that. That's what we're looking for. Mm. Cranberries. And black pepper. Damn. Celery seed. Mm. Celery seed. Delicious. Mm. I'm gonna save a little bite. I'm gonna come back to that. That's fantastic. Try some of these ribs. These look delicious. Mm. Oh yeah, fall off the bone. Mm. <laughs> Super tender. Mm. Magic. Some of that barbecue is magic. The cool thing too, is like I said, this place is like a drive through So, if you have like this like uh, lovely homegrown barbecue experience in a jiffy. Cool concept and good food. I'm impressed. Mm. Really delicious. They have their uh, 
signature sauce on these. That's the Suki one. Great flavor. Got a little more dip action on that one. Mmm. Oh yeah. Sorry. That's good. That's good barbecue. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we are at the Lloyd B's drive through Barbecue in Las Vegas, Nevada, taking on their What Happens in Vegas Challenge. So this was definitely a big barbecue platter, like we said, featuring ribs of pork and beef and sausage and cornbread and sides and all kinds of delicious stuff. One thing I will say though is I don't think that what happens in Vegas when it comes to this barbecue will stay in Vegas. It's going to stay around your waist, but it is delicious. Yeah, the, the, the little bit of sauce in there. I think it's the spicy one. I'll try it. Mm. That, that's a spicy one. <laughs> a little bit of sauce. They put on the rib to like just finish it off. It's perfect. Because the ribs cook perfectly, it's nice and savory. And that little bit of sweetness just adds that like. Mm. <laughs> That's what it adds. Just mm. Now the concept of drive through barbecue was new to me and I'm not going to lie, I was pretty skeptical. Because I mean you think of barbecue, low, slow, sit down. But I say they did a really good job here. And with that I can honestly say. drive through barbecue is good. <laughs> at least at Lloyd's. Yeah. Especially at Lloyd's. <laughs> and this is the... The vinegar sauce? This is the vinegar one right here. Try the vinegar sauce. Mm. Definitely the apple cider vinegar on that. The actual difficulty of this challenge, I would say, is probably like a high level intermediate, arguably an expert. That 25 minute time limit definitely adds a lot of difficulty because barbecue takes quite a bit of time to eat. There's lots of chewing, you gotta uh, take meat off bones, you gotta, you know, go with um, sausages, which, you know, can have a good crisp on them, etc., etc. But I will say, um, I was super impressed with the quality of Lloyd B's and the different flavors which they had going on. Very, very innovative. Like you said, guys, good looking brisket. Mm. I like it. Nice smoke. It has some texture, but it's not chewy or anything. Cook really well. I'm gonna try this maybe a little bit in that sauce. Here we go. Mm. A little bit of extra salt in there. Very delicious. That's crushed on it too. The one thing about Las Vegas is you can pretty much get anything you ever want, including drive through barbecue. So like I said, I think it's a really cool concept. Um, I think it's a newer uh, concept and restaurant, but they did it very, very well. Um, so I, not that I would recommend you ever trying to eat this much barbecue in one sitting, but I would recommend trying uh, Lloyd B's. I'm going to talk more about the food itself um, throughout the video, so with that I'll leave you to it. Um, but yeah, I believe that's pretty much all the info. Uh, pretty straightforward, looking for a free meal, a hat, 25 minutes. And uh, if we were to fail, I believe the cost was somewhere between 80 and 100 bucks. So anyway, well, let's see if we can complete this. Wish us luck. And uh, oh, by the way, their sauces were really, really good. So with that, let's get to the rest of the video. Mustard sauce, good too. Nice and, um, nice level of sweetness and acidity. I approve. All right. I'm gonna probably try some of this, uh, this hot link dish. Oh yeah. We actually a little, a little bit of heat in that. Um, a little bit of grill flavor. I think I should kind of the peppers and stuff with onions. It just kind of reminds me a little bit like a jumble, but the the hot link actually. 
bit of heat to it. Pretty spicy. This would be delicious on like a sandwich. That would be. Mm. The hot salmon. Very good. We have that. They have it. They got. <laughs> That'd be a really good combo. And that like little sauce in it with the peppers and onions. A little sweet. I'm gonna try, uh, maybe around the sausage, let's give this smoked sausage a go. This is actually a very sizable sausage. Keep your head out of the gutters, everybody. <laughs> and honestly, that's good. Really juicy. I like it. Nice, like crisp, like crunch in the skin. Get that cured, that pepper. Another like good sausage on a bun slash sausage sandwich kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Very rich sausage. Making our way, everybody. Downtown walking fast as faces passing homebound. If you know that song, comment down below. White chicks. <laughs> mm. Any and W root beer. Great drink choice. All right, hard to come by in restaurants. Besides the AW. Um, all right, I'm gonna try this. Uh, I'm gonna try this beef rib next. So what? What flavors on this beef rib? Oh wow! Do you see that? That is a pull slash fall off <laughs> the bone. Oh my gosh! It's gonna like rip. Like just like whoo. awesome. What kind of flavor you got going on here? That's a little um, orange Thai chili backed up with our house dry rub, so you get a little. Texas meets some Thai. Well, I tell you what, I didn't expect the Thai flavor to actually go so well. There's just a hint of like ginger, mm -hmm. a little orange ginger. Orange ginger. Which actually goes really well with the smoked meat. Calorie free. Exactly. <laughs> That's the low carb rib right there. Low carb, true. <laughs> low calories, think again. <laughs> but in the best way possible. Rib tips, pulled pork, beans, brisket chili, cornbread. Woo! Meat sweats, guys. <laughs> they are real. They I are... recommend the chili and the cornbread together. Okay, then I will wait to have those together. I was busting some of this um, pulled pork. Give it a shot here. Okay. Did you just put the mustard sauce in that? That one's the vinegar sauce, right? Is it vinegar sauce? Mm -hmm. Nice flavor. Both law. Pull park. That's a good combo. Oh, we were sliding. <laughs> The coleslaw and the pulled pork are a good pair. I'll definitely say that. You're making grandma's happy all over the country. It's everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I haven't asked in an occasion or two to sit in for somebody on like a Christmas dinner or something. Sub in, you know, make their grandpa, you know, their their relatives happy. Oh, he loves the green bean casserole. <laughs> Johnny looks a little different this year, though. He looks like that guy on YouTube that eats too much food. Doing these rib tips, and then right down to beans, brisket, chili, and cornbread. So, rib tip. A lot of food, but I only got some hair in me. Excuse me. Compliments to the chef. <laughs> that rib tip got nice little cartilage bites in it. Really nice and sweet. And everybody, if you made it to this part of the video, thank you so, so, so much. I want you to comment down below and let me know your favorite style of barbecue sauce, whether you like a sweet or whether you like a tangy. Yes, so comment down below, give me a hashtag sweet or a hashtag tangy, or I suppose you could even put a hashtag none if you don't like barbecue sauce. But like I said, thanks for watching and let's get to the video. Okay, we've been talking a lot, we've been enjoying the food. I'm impressed guys. It's actually really, really good. Even though it's a drive-thru. Even though it's a drive-thru, guys. Especially because it's a drive-thru. Hey, it works. <laughs>
Just saying, it's real good. All right, anyway. So we're finished that, I believe 20, about 23, just over 23 minutes. That's done, right? Yeah. That's, That's done, good. perfect. All right, but I will try the pickled watermelon rind. Cause that looks and sounds very interesting. Mmm. Yeah. You know what it's like? It reminds me of a bread and butter pickle. But it's crisper. And a bit more clovey flavor. Right, yeah, it really takes on that like winter spice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I love pickles. And a bread and butter pickle is my, arguably my favorite. Good job here. Mm -hmm. We got here. We made them in house. Delicious. Do you still like just as it is? Oh, we serve, it's actually in a lot of our dishes. Yeah. It's in our coleslaw, it's, a, it's in our potato salad, mm. it's in our cucumber salad. But we do serve, um, can't serve them by themselves as well with kind of a pickle platter. Guys, I'm just saying the cornbread was shockingly good. <laughs> Pickled watermelon rind, shockingly good. Um, but that everybody, so we did complete the challenge, which is awesome. Um, I want to give a huge thanks to the staff here. So the staff have been super friendly. Um, I, you know, it really helps make an experience like great food is delicious. As this was very great food, but really nice to have this like kind of hospitality here, guys. This was uh, it was great. You know, they've been hanging out with me, poking fun at me, and uh, enjoying me enjoying their food. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I think that's cool. I think it's proud. They're proud of what they serve. Um, but for that, we do get the meal for free, which is pretty cool. We do get one of their sweet hats. Hey guys, we got the Lloyd B's on there. We cook it slow, we serve it fast. Which honestly, put that over there right now. I gotta give it to them. It was uh, like the idea, the concept of drive-through barbecue was very interesting to me, not what I'm familiar with, but I'm impressed. It was very good food um, and the absolute caliber you'd expect going to like a nice, you know, barbecue restaurant where you're gonna go sit down. This way you can just kind of grab it, you know, in five minutes through the drive-through and take it home with you. So, I gotta say, that was delicious. Um, if I gotta go with a favorite, my favorite side out of the three I had, um, I'm excluding the cornbread, we're gonna get to that later, uh, was the coleslaw. The coleslaw was delicious. I love a good coleslaw, that crisp coleslaw, with the little bit of that, you know, kind of pickled watermelon rinds, the cranberries, everything in there, just nice, crisp, fresh. Um, really liked that. Uh, when it came to the meats, honestly, I have to say, the ribs, I think, were my favorite. They said this is like a, a, a very customer favorite, something they're very well known for. And I do think the ribs were probably my favorite. The brisket was good as well. Same as the rib tips. Um, yeah, very delicious. But yeah, I think those ribs were probably, probably the best. And you can tell they're cooked, right? Like, you see how soft this bone is? Like, well, like empty, but the fact that I can eat the bone, it's really good. And I have no shame in eating a bone. Um, but yeah, that was about that, guys. I gotta say, yeah, that was not what she said. Take that back. Take that back, guys. That is not what she said. Solely in the context of barbecue restaurants. Uh, but yeah, like I said, um, really cool spot. If you're ever in the Las Vegas area, definitely worth a drive on by. If you come by, tell me you saw this crazy guy on YouTube eat too, way too much food, and maybe they'll give you some extra cornbread or something. I don't know, I'm just throwing that out there. Just throwing Absolutely. out there. Um, Absolutely. Well, definitely throwing some extra And then, talking of cornbread, guys, uh, that cornbread is actually super good. Surprisingly good. Like I said, that is a, like a cornbread I have not tasted before. It's almost like you said, kind of like apple cinnamon vibes, but like in the best way possible. Um, so that's about that. They also have Diet A&W root beer, so I give them a shout out for that. Uh, but like I said, great place. Uh, we definitely recommend stopping on by. And that's about that. So of course, so on. if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Always much appreciated. And uh, let me know what your favorite meat is down below. Again, I think today I'm going with ribs. So with that, everyone, hope you love the day. Have a lovely night. Uh, that's about it. Las Vegas, crazy spot. And uh, like I said, this is definitely going to be coming with me around my waist, but in the best way possible. So with that, I appreciate you. Have a lovely day.
And guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.